If you have a look on screen, you'll see a screenshot of a tweet that Chris Eubank Jr. put out where he's basically saying that he agreed to fight WBO and IBF middleweight champion Yanilbek Aklimaluli or whatever it is. I'm not going to say so now. I don't want to butcher it. But he's claiming that he agreed to that fight and then basically he went to bed, woke up and his promoters at Wasserman slash Sauland have basically done the bait and switch on him. So he's agreed to fight Yanibek and they're basically saying that nah, we're going to give you Etinoza Oliha instead. A boxer that nobody's heard of. And that's Chris Eubank Jr.'s words, not mine, but I do concur. No one's really heard of Etinosa Oliha. So Chris Eubank Jr. is claiming that he's basically agreed to fight a world champion for two straps, but his promoters are saying something else. Now, that to me says two things. Firstly, that is Chris Eubank Jr. does not know what he's doing. And secondly, the Sowland brothers know exactly what they're doing. And the reason why I say that is, hands down, 100%, Yanni Back beats the crap out of Chris Eubank Jr. It's not even a competitive fight. Now, over here in the UK, we've only really seen Yanni Beck, like, other than, like, the hardcores who are really into it, we've only really known about him from the Denzel Bentley fight, and that wasn't the prettiest fight in the world. So if you're basing your judgment of Yanni Beck off that fight, then fair enough. But I've watched a little bit more footage than that one fight. I'm telling you, the guy is a killer. He's to be taken very, very seriously. And if Chris Eubank Jr. is just walking in there thinking... I'm going to beat this guy to walk in the park. He's very much mistaken in my opinion. Yanni Beck's style is all wrong for Chris Eubank Jr. He's basically too good, to be honest. That's basically what it comes down to. I know Chris Eubank Jr. looked good against Liam Smith and people were praising him and Bo Mack and the link up and saying Chris Eubank Jr. looks better. If I'm not mistaken, even I done the same in my post-fight review. I can't remember what I said exactly, but I remember it was kind words aimed at Chris Eubank Jr. Like, I'm going to start taking him seriously or whatever, but... I can't take him seriously if he thinks he's going to go in there against Janibek and beat him. And not only that, but about six weeks ago, whatever it was, he was asked about that fight and his response was basically the same it is with Olisa or Oliha or whatever his name is. It's basically that, who's Janibek? Why am I going to fight him? Nobody knows him. But ever since the rug was pulled from under his feet or according to rumours or what's going around online, he pulled the own rug from out under his feet regarding the Conor Ben fight or whatever. He's now warming to the idea of fighting Yannibek. Now, personally, I hope they make the fight. It's a great fight. I'd love to see Yannibek beat Chris Eubank Jr. I'd like to see him beat him up, to be fair. But as I said, this revelation reveals two things. One, Chris Eubank Jr. doesn't know what he's doing. He's walking into the fire. Two, his team know exactly what they're doing and they don't want to put Chris Eubank Jr. in a ring with Yannibek or even in the same room at this point, I would imagine. Because at the end of the day, Chris Eubank Jr. still got some market ability, still got some market value, so he can still fill an arena in the UK under the right circumstances, which means people are going to eat, there's money to be made. If he goes in there against Yanni Beck, uh, how old Chris Eubank Jr. now? He's probably, what, 33, 34? If he was to take a devastating beating and lose, does he really come back from that? Probably not. And how much money are top rank going to throw at Chris Eubank Jr. for that fight? Well, considering he's agreed to fight the guy, I'm guessing... Is significant enough to make him want to take a fight against the killer. So they're probably offering a decent purse, to be fair. But if Chris Eubank Jr. takes it and the fight is made, there's a very good chance that's going to be his last ever purse, if you know what I mean. So Sowlands are probably thinking longer term, if they can save Chris Eubank Jr. from that beating that he would get if he fought Yanni Beck, then maybe they can prolong his career, get another four, five, six smaller paydays yet. Significant ones, if you know what I mean. I actually think that that is their logic, and that's probably the most logical explanation for why they're trying to divert him into another direction, into another fight, if you know what I mean. But at the same time, I think it's too late for that. The fact that Chris Eubank Jr. has taken to social media to try and slam his own promoters and question them, they almost have to make that fight now or maybe stop working with Chris Eubank Jr. moving forward. They wouldn't want to do that, so there's a good chance they will make that fight with top rank and Yanni Beck and then maybe hope for the best. I'm telling you guys right now, you could be the biggest Chris Eubank Jr. fans in the world or whatever, you know, seeing him from the start of his career and know that he's got something special and see him perform in the gym or whatever. Yanni Beck is a real special one here. If you see that guy's fights, you hear the noises his, his punches make, you see how he places his punch, you see his movement, the way he cuts off the ring. The guy's almost like the perfect fighter. There's a few bits and pieces that he needs to work on and he could do with some marketing as well. But at the end of the day, if he goes in there with someone like Chris Eubank Jr. and beats him up, that's going to do wonders for his profile. So I can see why they want it. They're the champions. They're offering Chris Eubank Jr. this fight. If I was him, I would take it. I suspect Sowlands are trying to block it because they know what's coming. But fingers crossed, hopefully they'll make that fight because it'll be good to see Chris Eubank Jr. in there with Yanni Beck, see how he performs. And not only that, but he's kind of getting on in age. Like, his career hasn't got much long left in it. He may as well take a world title opportunity while it's there because he may not get another one. And if you've become a professional boxer and you've gone through the ranks and you've made a bit of money, why not go for a world title to try and top it all off? It makes perfect sense. Will it happen? I don't know. I hope so. Guess we'll find out in due course. That's all I got for this one, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, or don't. I'll catch you on the next one. Love.